Hello, fellow truth seekers. I hope that this finds you all well. So I did want to come on and make a quick video regarding the high possibility of holiday blow ups, right? From this started back in, in Thanksgiving, right? Right after the, uh, right, yeah, right after the full moon eclipse, right? This is all part of this cycle that we're going through. Uh, and it's likely to happen if it hasn't happened already or possibly again. So I thought I needed to make this because the spiritual community tends to like slap our hands for losing our temper, right? We're not supposed to do that. You're not really enlightened until you're calm and steady all the time. And I just kind of think it's bullshit. So, and the spirit has confirmed that for me. You know, it's like our true nature, right? When that animal instinct comes out, you know, I, I think about the animal cards that are like, you know, the animals, they release their anger, they, you know, and then they just move on. And that's one of the reasons I think we don't move on is because we push that anger down. And then we have big blow ups like this because we didn't just in the moment, let it out. So I think that's something for us to really look at. You know, it's like, I'm 25% Irish, <laughs> according to my DNA. Uh, and I've got Viking blood in me, right? I've got, I'm a fighter. And, uh, you know, not that I need to be going around fighting everybody and, you know, that, but to think that I'm going to be, you know, hmm, is just unreal. And we shouldn't be trying to, you know, be, you know, if that's your nature and then good for you. Right. But for those of us who are, you know, defending ourselves that are spiritual warriors, right. There's a reason that we got that DNA. There's a reason that we do ignite, you know, so don't beat yourself up if this has happened, if you got triggered, right? I had a big blow up, which is the reason I had uh, the idea to do this video. And there's likely going to be more. So there are three reasons, three main reasons that I think this has happened. The first is that we needed to release the energy. There, you know, we've been pushing things down, right? Because we think that is the path of the spiritual person. We stuff things down where we have been trying to keep the peace uh, because of all that's been going on, right? And all that's built up and these energies like right they're like they're so intense now the other person was needing to release as well so you know i feel like whoever you had a release with you both you know needed to release the energy and it was better to release it on each other than somebody else <laughs> number two it was bringing things up for healing. Now that day I had something that had really been uh, bothering me came up in that and it, it ended up getting healed for the most part that day. I think there's probably still a little bit more that needs to be done, but a big part of that got healed that day. But it's also showing you what has already been healed, right? This person that uh, you were 
arguing with, whatever it was, like my, mine, and they were trying to push your buttons, right? They were trying to trigger you and they were using things that had worked before, right? Like I saw my, <laughs> my person's face light up like, oh yeah, I've got it. And it didn't bother me. I was like, Pfft. you know, so it's also showing you what had been healed and you know, those things that did trigger you, that did bother you, they were coming up for healing. And like in my case, it could happen like, you know, that day. And the third is that this person is probably of a lower vibration. And not that you want to necessarily feel like you're better than them. It's not about trying to avoid them completely. But I think during this time that is so intense that we are like kind of in the last, you know, stages, the last degrees of Capricorn that's going to be like really intense that we needed to have, you know, a barrier up between you and them. So I feel like it did that as well. And there is a bit of an extra that, you know, it's kind of, I don't know if I'm, um, it's a wishful thinking. I kind of got the idea from spirit though, that, you know, it's like that righteous rage because you are, most people that are watching this channel are of a high vibration. So it was like a righteous rage, right? And you were directing your energy at that person. And I kind of feel like it might have ignited something inside of the person. I'm hoping. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm imagining. And if you, you know, because I love this person, right? The, that's, you know, typically the blow ups are with people that we love. So, um, hopefully, you know, and if that's your case too, then just imagine, imagine that like, a, you know, I'm imagining this little, uh, tornado kind of like energy like just building up and it's going to even because when someone's in that kind of stage it need they need their lives kind of turned upside down right yeah so that's it i hope that this helped and um Good luck, right? <laughs> we need it getting through this last little bit. I mean, I think that we're going to have some high highs and low lows. And, but, um, I think those highs are going to be like better than ever. So it's cool. All right. See y'all soon.